Hi Aquarius, so today we are going to be doing your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom when I had mentioned that and the Fool. Okay, yeah, so judgment is beneath that. <clears throat> So I'm hearing that for a lot of you, this message and part of this message so far um, is coming up to say with the fool, there's something about the blue skies and like the clouds reference. Uh, so it could be a lot of air energy here. I mean, you could be an air sign. You don't have to be for the reading, but um, there feels like there's kind of a clearing of a blue sky. And I feel like there could be a specific message for somebody that you are now ready to take some kind of leap of faith towards an opportunity which you didn't really take that opportunity before or you felt that it wasn't the right time there's a strong feeling here of the stars aligning is what i'm hearing and i feel like there's a message with the fool and how it's a zero number and how it's like a completely new clean slate that i feel somebody i'm also hearing jupiter so there could be something in with the astrology about Jupiter. I believe there is. I just don't know what exactly it is, but I feel like they want somebody to know if this reading has found you that you are becoming more kind of surrounded by Jupiter's energy. Uh, and the abundance card is here actually at the bottom of the deck as well. And we just had that queen of pentacles, which I put back, but here it is here, queen of pentacles. So, I feel like some of you need to know that you are free, I'm hearing. You really need to know this, that you are now free. And maybe you've done something to kind of set yourself free. Um, they're also wanting someone to know that this goes back to some kind of, something within your soul that you have a certain kind of original gift or a part of your soul's journey and spiritual journey that is aligning at this moment because they're showing me a lot of references of like ancient energy and I'm seeing dinosaurs and how they're showing it to be is something which is like an ancient gift within you or if it's not like a specific gift it's just um how to put it it's just it's something where with the fool we can now explore that more or we're ready to be fully in the flow of the abundance that comes from some sort of divine timing element connected to our soul's purpose but uh, let's see a little bit more let's put these back in and go into the reading a, a bit more that could be a side note or that could be the message there's a really random side note coming up here if any of you feel drawn right now to disconnect from electronics i'm hearing not just social media but spirit said electronics um or maybe some kind of protection from electronics i don't know what that's about but there's a feeling of uh someone maybe being guided to have like a simpler life or to disconnect from social media but also maybe just excessive consumption of any kind of electronics you know um whatever it is tv things like that so but let's see so Spirit, what would you like to talk about? They keep showing me that dinosaur. There's something with a dinosaur here. Page of Pentacles, the chariot. Um, and I feel like it, it has something to do with like an ancient and old energy. And I don't know where they're going with that completely yet. But with the reference as well of disconnecting maybe from electronics, it's like when times were simpler. Uh, not like, you know, dinosaur era necessarily, but the way they're showing it is something within how things can become just easier or more simple and there's like a decluttering maybe away from the things that have blocked that path fully okay okay let's see tell us a little bit more spirit about this message here today for whoever this is for what would you like to talk about i'm hearing share your voice and i'm hearing express yourself what would you like to talk about for the viewers of this reading? We have the Ace of Cups. 
Okay, they just also showed me a bunch of people knocking at your door. Okay, Nine of Pentacles is here, the world, yeah. Um, this could be, of course, in many different ways, but I do feel for a lot of you, if you found this reading, um, you may definitely start to see a lot of people and energies, metaphorically speaking, kind of knock on your door. It could be literal to where you do have a lot of people that are going to want to communicate with you, or if it's business-wise, for example, as well. Um, even if they don't knock on your door physically, there could be something to where you have more people interested in what you're providing. But it feels like this is a kind of a product in a way of your energy becoming very magnetic with this nine of pentacles here. And I feel like a, a jolt of energy as I'm saying that with the ace of, ace of cups. I feel some of you, you may be feeling or you will soon feel very like almost energized or vibrant. If you have not been feeling this way at all, this may not be for you or this could be an invitation for you to do things that bring a sense of vibrancy to your body, your emotions and also your physical body. Here's the fool again and the eight of wands is behind that, the star. Yeah, there's a lot of like very uplifting energy, okay, with the blue colors, the blue skies, the sky is up here too, there's the clouds. Um, and this card was at the bottom as well. We have conscious eating nourishes me. Some of you are, I'm hearing for somebody very specific, you may have been at some point in your life, you were eating very healthy, or you may have had a certain diet, like let's say it is like being a vegetarian or a vegan, for example, it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm hearing that you're getting back to that now. So maybe you took a period of time away from that or you went through kind of a rough patch in your life where you were maybe eating unhealthy or there were certain unhealthy habits. It's like you're getting back to the blue sky feeling of wanting to cleanse your physical body as well and just really be more on this sort of, it feels very, up again, like uplifting, like having more physical energy to do things and, and stuff like that. So definitely I feel... With this nine of pentacles i feel for a lot of you there's there's just overall a feeling of overcoming a certain hurdle and maybe you've been sitting at like the top of that mountain and now it's like there's a sense of the final hurdle sort of has been overcome or has been crossed and there's more of a sense of abundance that can flow to you without you going to seek it uh, abundance in many different ways so yeah i feel like this is the main message for somebody i'm hearing a confirmation so this message in itself could serve as a confirmation and it seems like the main confirmation from this entire thing is for somebody to know that like again i'm hearing you're free eight of swords maybe there's at times you may think that you're not free and i don't know exactly how that will manifest or what that feels like for you but in some kind of way maybe you just need a confirmation that like you know you've already achieved this or you've already um you've already done something to get to this point so you're not you're no longer at a point where it's possible in a way for you to revert backwards i think that came up before too in a, in a reading i did recently but um because i feel with this eight of swords there's for some of you maybe you've been battling a lot of mental kind of anxieties or at times your mind can can kind of twist itself to somehow to kind of self-sabotage you and I feel like there's a there's some kind of call that you don't have to worry anymore is also what I'm hearing so with the six of pentacles here see there's things being given back to you now so I feel like it's like you don't have to worry you're free. That's like the main message so far. You don't have to worry. You are free. So maybe this is something specific that you've been thinking that, um, how to put this. Some, I don't know, somehow a feeling that with the eight of swords, there's like a block that you think is still there, but is not actually there anymore. It's only coming from a block that you think is still there uh how to how to put that more that makes sense it's like you don't have to control things anymore so much you don't have to try to put things in order or to mentally create situations or scenarios which are not there you know so yeah let's let's pull a few more cards here 
tell us a little bit more spirit what would you like to say uh, i'm being shown a bunch of looks like black panthers other big cat energies and they're almost like standing around you in a circle and i'm hearing this is associated with the the, the feeling of protection of your guides here coming through to say that you know again it's safe for you to progress and to move forward because you are being protected from something which affected you at some point mentally which was coming from your own it's like a power feeling like your guides coming in here or these animal spirits to say that you're more powerful than you think and they want you to really claim that power for you to overcome any lingering kind of fears that would prevent you from the full exploration and positive experiences coming in with that knocking on the door reference i feel for a lot of you with the six of pentacles here on a more uh on a level that i feel would be in your day-to-day -day life you know it could be that this is going to be people that want something from you but in a way that would benefit you as well not just like to take from you it would be more so of some kind of reciprocation or reciprocal energy like i said clients maybe or um, a lot more people that want to do things for you that they didn't do before or people who see you in a light that maybe you didn't feel seen in that way in the past so just a lot more of a of things kind of reaching you in many ways what else spirit would you like to say for this message yeah, they're showing me somebody getting off of a plane. They've landed on, you know, landed, and then they're getting off the plane, getting their baggage, and they're getting ready to create that life in that new destination. So that could be for some Nine of Swords. Here's the Queen of Wands at the bottom. The tower is beneath that. Yeah, this feels kind of like we are... This is extremely similar to a collective reading I did. I just don't remember which one it was, but I was mentioning something about how there's like a back and forth pull. I think it was the last one I did. So this could be still the energy that we're in or like an extension of it. But they're showing me the reference of um, kind of at times you may be pulled backwards, but I feel like with the tower and the queen of wands, you're actually being pushed. You're being pushed forward though right now. And it's in a way for you to somehow be this magnetic queen of wands you know or king of wands as well regardless of the gender but it feels like i keep hearing that like you don't have to worry so i don't know if you're worried about something with this nine of swords or it could even be that maybe it's not that you're worried about something in specific it could even just be that you're worried that you know maybe you don't that maybe something here that you're worried that maybe you don't uh deserve the six of pentacles maybe or that it's like i feel like you're still holding on to something out of comfort but it may not even be anything tangible that you're holding on to it could just be that the time has come to kind of let go now and maybe you're still resisting that on some level because from the beginning of the reading, they kept wanting to mention this abundance. It says, prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. So yeah, I didn't read that. Uh, in fairyland and human land, there's enough abundance for everybody. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I mean, I would say the message here, if this is for you, is that you may have been struggling with some mental beliefs and anxieties that perhaps you don't deserve this abundance um, or that it's just something that's running in the background like almost if you have a background app running on your phone or your computer and it's creating some interference and maybe at one point it you know really created a lot of interference in your life to where it was very damaging to whatever it was that you were trying to create or your vibration of this queen of wands but it's like 
that app in the background kind of is has slowed down a lot or has not affected you as much but it's getting to the point now where it's like it's about to crash with the tower like it needs to you, you need to like x out all of those background apps you know metaphorically speaking that's the analogy they're giving me because i feel um you some of you if you are here this could be something that again is a confirmation i had heard so maybe you need to have that confirmation that I don't know exactly what it is. It's something that maybe just just kind of in general, you need to have that confirmation. I'm not sure if it's something specific, but it feels like maybe you just need to know that you're safe now and that you have successfully kind of slayed the, you know, slayed the, the negative thoughts. that you've come very far and so now is not the time to kind of give up or to give back into those behaviors that you once were comfortable in okay i keep being shown a lot of people here and i will get as usual we'll get some specific cards towards the end and we'll get more uh, deeper into the message but i keep being shown a lot of people who are wanting something from you and I feel like with the Queen of Wands, some of you also need to know that it's safe to be loved. It's safe to be not even just loved. I mean, it's safe to be um, recognized, maybe admired, maybe just it, it goes from like friendships to romantic relationships to people that you work with to maybe just the general day to day friendly gestures that people, you know, are offering to help you or just. I don't know, something about how you're getting back out into the world and being more interactive kind of is what's coming up as well. So some of you, it's funny because it took me, it's like almost 20 minutes into the reading to kind of get into the Queen of Wands energy of what the main message is trying to say, because I feel like that's how it is. It's like you're kind of having to go through a few hurdles so that you can really see yourself in that light fully. Like there was a little bit of debris that had to be cleared out first for you to feel deserving of that and to again i keep hearing slay the negative feelings or slay the negative thoughts in the background with that nine of swords it's like you do deserve this abundance you do deserve not just abundance but for people to like you for people to love you for people to have some sort of exchange i guess you can say with people and just from the universe as well so yeah, that's, I would say that's the main message if this found you is that you do need to know how deserving you are at this moment of this abundance and that's, I'm being shown that protection again and actually let me see, and this is at the bottom, the cat and lavender independent. So I was seeing those black panthers. So definitely for some of you, there's a connection here to black cats and to just cat energy in general. Okay, uh, this also just flew out. Now is the time to integrate all that I have gathered. Yeah, so all that you have gathered, see this is a very similar looking image here too of how they're looking down and they have the hands out. So with this person here with the lit up hands, it feels like some of you, there is something about receiving right now. It's almost like if you were to hold out your hands energetically, a lot's being received or given to you. So it's safe for you to receive. And with this cat and the lavender independence, the queen of wands in the traditional deck does have a black cat by her side too. So there's a strong black cat energy here. Um, so take that how that will resonate with you. The black cat could have um, a meaning for you right now. And it's I feel like it's protection, but it's also something about your power and something about your, almost like in a way your shadow. See, there is medicine in my shadow. It's like you're more powerfully stepped into your shadow so that it can become more of a tool for you rather than a destructive like uh you know thing against you because it feels like like i was saying in the beginning it took me a while to sort of see that but at the i'm also hearing kali so some of you definitely connect with kali um but uh yeah it's like your your shadow has a lot of power and when we let the program kind of run on full 
on full speed kind of and we don't have a way to exit out of that background program and we let it run us and rule us uh, it does create a lot of blockages to positive experiences of course and abundance and i feel like that's the message is that a lot of you have maybe successfully you know come to love your shadow side or have just accepted parts of your shadow or you've just done a lot of like you know deep healing work within yourself and with that ace of cups it's like now it's time to go out into the world and begin to receive now because you've already done kind of that work and so it's not that that's what i was trying to explain earlier with like the the hill um you've already done kind of like the the heavy lifting work and so it's more of a time for you here to switch that kind of component off that you're thinking that there's a lot of hard work and more, more so switch on the receptive flow mode because you have already completed that so there's no reason to sort of go back and and do it all over again because that's something that you should be instead kind of giving yourself a reward for how far you've come and maybe those specific bad habits can creep in sometimes you know again it could be negative self-talk it could be things that are not good for you it could be that we did have the eating or the the diet card before so it could be small things like that like some of you may with this nine of swords maybe there's just i don't know again i can't pinpoint what the feeling is but it's some sort of method of like self-sabotage or it's maybe something much more deep and subtle that is created in like this anxiety or this again background program feeling if i hope that makes sense let's see what else we have yeah i'm seeing a, a telephone ringing off the hook something with that i want to see a little bit more and it seems like there's a lot here so we probably will do an extended as well but let's just see let's keep going what else do you want to say spirit for this message today for whoever this is for let me grab those cards that flew on the ground we are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another i trust the mystery of life okay and at the bottom i am on the right path and divinely guided so we do have a full moon actually today as i'm doing the reading so i do feel there's maybe even this full moon um is really potent for some of you but yeah i feel like with this here um this is just saying with the queen of wands that there's a strong again like feminine energy here with like the cat there's something about that cat over there and there's something about connecting to i feel some of you are being guided to trust the mystery of various things but i feel like one part of it is like maybe the people that you interact with or the people that are going to come into your life this could either be people already around you or people who again are like a part of sort of in a way the next chapter of your life or the next chapter of coming out of this deep shadow where maybe you were more you know uh inwardly focused or there was something that you weren't kind of in a position to fully be confident within yourself in some sort of way and i just feel like it's given me a very it's almost given me like a very like a sacred circle or something to where some of you may can be connecting or will connect with very specific people who are a part of your soul family even and again i want to go into those specific cards in a second so we'll we'll get more with that because it feels like with the i don't know with the fairy deck that i chose as well um that was gifted to me uh that came in divine timing too because i feel like it has something to do how to explain the energy though it's like a lightness i think i said in the beginning too there's like a joyfulness or a lightness that's washing over here and it's pushing you to like turn yourself inside out in a way so that you're more facing the outward world i, I hope that really makes sense um let's see tell me a little bit more then spirit 
what else would you like to add to this reading? I keep getting something about Colorado. It's been like in the back of my mind and it keeps coming up for some reason. So I don't know what, I mean, I guess some of you here could be from Colorado, but um, anything else, Spirit, that you want to say for this reading? We have moon energy, so I was just pointing to that full moon. We have surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So I think that was coming up before that everything is okay or that you are safe. I feel some of you, this color could actually be very soothing for you. So I'm not sure if it's like a certain crystal that is composed of these colors, especially like this, this color here, like this kind of uh, turquoise almost. They're just, they're saying that here for somebody. And even lavender, even though it's not that color, but lavender oil, uh, lavender color, pastels, something to where there's like a, a need for soothing of the overactive maybe nervous system or the overactive mind with that nine of swords. Because I feel like this is, again, time to kind of like calm that down now, where it's time to come out of that and trust the mystery of life, which I think you've done a lot of work on that. But there may still be something where, yeah, they're showing me somebody hitting the speed bumps, you know, it's like we, we do have to go through some speed bumps sometimes to get there, but they don't want you to give up, you know, with the eight of swords and the nine of swords, if there's some anxiety coming to you about this lack energy or kind of creeps up on you that maybe you're going to fail again, or there's going to be something that is not going to turn out, you know, well. Uh, yeah, we have the friendship. So see, we have fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Yeah, so again, I definitely feel that for a lot of you, you're being guided to new people or just people uh, that are going to be supportive of you, whether these are people that you already have in your life or not. And I think that some of this is healing the connection with maybe intimacy that you have as well with that ace of cups that came out as the first card it's like you're combining the water and the fire the ace of cups with the queen of wands or something about it of like you've mastered a lot within yourself but now it's time to share that with other people or now it's time to like let the cup of love of, of emotions overflow for you to soften that part up as well we have look in a book Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words that you find will bring the in insight that you seek. Okay, so I'm seeing that dinosaur again. Was I saying that in the beginning of the reading? I think I was saying that in this reading. Um, I think, it, yeah, it came up a few times, something about a dinosaur. And it, I just saw it again when I looked at that card. So I don't know what that's about. If it's something, some kind of book that mentions dinosaurs or associates with dinosaurs i have no idea what that is but i think that what came up briefly earlier was something about the ancient knowledge it feels very like witchy to me something about this reading so some of you definitely could be um you know a witch yourself but this could also be something connecting with like connecting with others for there to be more magic kind of in your world and connecting with like-minded souls to create i don't know what that is create something let's see let's get some of these I'm seeing a scenario here of somebody hopping into like a car and it looks like again like a group of people and then just going on a road trip and laughing the whole way there's something about connection um maybe spontaneity doing things that are fun and adventurous trust in the unknown trust in the mystery of life like not holding yourself back when it comes to opening up new beginnings um with being on the right track yeah so the love card is beneath that Because I feel for some of you watching this, if this is for you, 
Uh, you may have spent a lot of time alone, like maybe it's been a lo long part of your life or maybe you've been very isolated or maybe you have just not connected with many people. Um, there's something about how it's time for you to again start to connect more with other people and that that part of your heart is like thawing in a way and i think that for some that could be where the anxiety may come in for a few of you where maybe you start to think that you're not worthy of connection or it's a subconscious or unconscious thing um so it's, there's that like soothing effect of softening into love and into harmonious atmospheres and friendships What else, Spirit, would you like to say for this reading? I'm hearing, in life there is no guarantees. We have loyalty, the hound and the pair. I'm noticing at the bottom we have the vulture and the asphodel upheaval. And we just had the tower that came up here in the beginning. Yeah, so this is a lot to do with what I have said here with the loyalty card and the friendship and the connections. Um, yeah, I feel some of you starting over the snake and the fern. I keep being shown this would represent almost like a milestone for you in terms of most likely this is like about connections, you know, most of it, even if you're connecting with people and work and different energies, it's not just limited to like friendships. It's just sort of, it's just like your day to day interactions with people or the, again, the work that you do or how the exchange exchanges of people around you and the situations that you encounter are, are be becoming different. And it almost marks a milestone for you with the starting over, like, at this particular moment and maybe something astrologically i think i was hearing jupiter too so if there is something going on with jupiter i feel like this is also playing a part in helping you to start your life over in a way where again somehow it marks like a milestone and i've actually been having this sensation i don't know if maybe some of you have also been feeling this but i would say for the last like couple of weeks i feel like i've been taken back to a certain timeline in my life um, probably like about 2015, 2012, 2014, like those years. And that it was only like a day or two that it kind of lasted, but it almost like took me back into that for healing purposes. And I almost feel like this is coming up for me to say, because some of you may have had a similar experience. Either you've had that happen to you. It doesn't have to be those years, but there could have been something recently, especially where you've been almost either brought back to something to look at it or just a feeling that you've been having or maybe it's a feeling that you're outgrowing those things and so you're beginning to see the 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 stark difference of like that time period in your life versus now and that they're connecting it to almost like if you were to have a someone were to put a line in your in this current timeline and like mark it and say that everything behind that line you've successfully like either you know been through that already you've cleared that you've something is complete with that cycle and so now everything on the right side of the line is like the new situations and people and friendships that are most likely going to be very different than that point of your life but in some ways they could parallel each other too I hope that makes sense because it's almost like a feeling to where maybe some of you are getting back to yourself that you lost for a period of time, maybe like a dark night of the soul even. And yes, there could be resurrections of certain people, certain friendships as well, because it wasn't, it wasn't ever about the friendships or the people themselves. It was more about you and them and like how you both were mirroring each other. So basically I feel that that's what they were also trying to say earlier with the nine of swords and the and the eight of swords is that maybe you know again in the back of your mind you may 
think or worry that maybe the same things were to happen to you if you were to develop this relationship or to move into the unknown and connect with new people. Um, but I feel like this is actually you starting over in your life now. That that part is gone. It's, it's no longer defining who you are with that Queen of Wands. Like you've, you've, you've done enough to be okay now to connect and to experience. And they want me to point this out too, uh, with that moon, I am on the right path and divinely guided that I feel like your intuition is also very strong right now. And with that Queen of Wands, again, I think for a lot of you who align with this, you definitely, I'm getting like Scorpio energy. It doesn't matter the sign, but I'm just the strongest ones I'm intuitively picking up on is Scorpio. Could be Pisces, but Leo is coming up to me as well. Mainly Scorpio and Leo for some reason, but again, you don't have to be those signs. Um, but there's like a... No, I forgot what I was saying. Well, so let's pull some of these and then we'll get some specific cards. Anything else, Spirit, that you want to say here to the reading? Oh yeah, they're with the Queen of Wands. Some of you, you don't have to be those signs, but you could be, uh, again, into... Um, like you're very connected to your shadow, I feel, your shadow side. So you may be interested or drawn into more of like the... Um, kind of quote darker things or you may be drawn to it's just that you have a, like a that you have like a dark power to you or a strong power with the black panther coming up as well and this black cat um and i feel like you can never go you can never be led astray when you're as powerful as you are and your intuition is very strong i'm getting a very strong like divine feminine energy for a lot of you again doesn't matter the gender but it feels like you have a a fierce dark feminine maybe energy that you've developed or that you're developing further um, but it's also connecting to in a light way or ready to start to connect in that way because you have it's already under your belt like the queen of wands part of you the the stuff that you've gone through in your life the shadows the difficulties the challenges and the wisdom that has come from that you already have that under your belt so your intuition you can trust it fully you know there's no more of that maybe in the past where you weren't really connecting fully to your intuition you may have thought that you were but maybe you weren't and so then it did lead to situations which had to happen for you to grow like painful situations but you weren't fully aligned the way that you are now to your intuition and to your soul anything else spirit that you want to say for this reading anything else Yeah, I'm seeing somebody coming out of a freezer and they're showing it as that like thawing reference again, like you're thawing out. We have transformation, we have clarity, and we have home. With the home card, this is the same reference to me. For a lot of you, this is connecting to uh, situations that were mainly people that will help to provide a sense of comfort and um, home for you. Like people that feel like home, friendships that feel like home, could be your actual physical environment that may feel more like home or you're finding that home. Definitely could be romantic connections. It's also the home within yourself too. It's that feeling of like the soothing effect again. That you're being led to collect this harvest now in a way that is deeply going to turn out to be deeply fulfilling and warm and complete kind of and whole is what it feels like. I'm also being shown for someone here that um, you may be 
really ready, not just talking about it, but like really ready to disconnect or to walk away from something. Um, and this may be like the final time. Maybe you've gone back and forth with this. This is for some of you for a while, or you've tried to make steps of change or healing or recovering from some addiction or walking away from a person. You may have tried to do that for a while and it just maybe wasn't successful or you found yourself going back. Um, but I feel like with the clarity that could mark that that thing I was mentioning of like the line being drawn. Maybe some of you have found your final clarity that like there's nothing more to tolerate here, you know, or it's if you're not aware of it, I feel like it's just kind of your higher self has stepped in to, to kind of tell you and to lead you towards these much more fulfilling situations which are a blank sheet of paper kind of for you in that way i'm being shown somebody here some advice for you could be to go outside somewhere in nature and just talk about your worries and it's like i'm not sure i mean we're using these the fairy deck so some of you definitely could have a connection to like these nature spirits as well um, because I'm just being shown somebody sitting by like a stream or somewhere in just the woods and just kind of like talking it all out, just putting your fears out there, your worries. And it's like they're being collected, they're being taken, they're being kind of um, the heaviness of that is being taken away from you. This, so this could be venting, you know, like venting to spirit, venting to your angels, your guides, because it feels like you're doing that in solitude. But, I mean, it could be people, too, who support you that you can vent to those people. But I feel like it's more of something you're doing on your own. Because I just see the, a lot of you being shown this kind of smoky substance that has been stuck within you. And as you're speaking it out, it kind of releases from you. So it's like lightening you, lightening your load, lightening your the heaviness that has prevented you from receiving and from connecting in a way. I just heard June. So there could be something here in June. We'll see what comes out. So we have, there will be a transformation within a connection in your life. The soul bond that you share will grow even deeper than before. So since I heard that right, or I heard that right before that card flew out, that could be something that will happen in June for some of you. They're actually connecting it to that Six of Pentacles energy to where you may even receive somebody who's going to want to reach out to you. I don't know who they are or what kind of connection it is, but for some of you, um, it's like there's a there's a reaching out, there's a reaching out feeling. Again, maybe before you were not willing to reach out, or maybe you were not willing in a way to connect with somebody or to others in general. And there's something about that Six of Pentacles where there can be more of like a flow between you and a person or you and the people that you want to have this connection with or just the new people, whoever they are. Um, it's like if you picture the energy exchange, if you have like both of your hands and maybe it was like kind of blocked before or like one person was given more than the other or there was like a, a barrier in between the flow. But I'm being shown now more of an equal and organic flow taking place with what seems to be maybe somebody very specific for some of you, but also just the people in general. So there could be a reaching out. Somebody will reach out to you or in soul people will reach out to you. We have a time of travel is near. Enjoy this time and leave your worries behind. So that's sticking out to me. To, to me. Leave your worries behind because I do feel that um, that's what I was saying before, like it's safe, it's okay. So yeah, it makes better sense. I feel like this has a lot to do. Some of you, it could be physical travel, it could be that you're, um, I was seeing a group of people going on a road trip and laughing together, so that could be for some of you. But it also feels like that could represent when you kind of get in the car, um, actually, or just how they're showing it. 
and you leave this worry behind, this Nine of Swords energy or this whatever that is that maybe is, is pressing on you still, you will collect those people in your car, you know, those new soul family members or that lightness of having fun and joy again. You will have that. But yeah, I feel like could also be like mental and spiritual travel as well. You're leaving this behind. You're going to this more warm location of the home here. So we have a challenging situation within family will be resolved. So for some of you, this that could be specific. We do actually have family here at the bottom. There's that big full moon again. So there is something about a full moon. So this could be during the full moon. If you're watching this on the full moon or any other full moon that we have coming up, there's something up with the full moon. Or you may want to do some some kind of ritual to, you know, on the full moon. But yeah, I am being shown for some specific. You're tucking something away that was challenging at one point. I'm being shown it may be connected to your shadow side. So this may be something very personal for you. It could be some trauma from your upbringing or family. It could be something which is going on currently with you and your family. But I feel like with the Queen of Wands, you are having the courage to sort of solve that or to, again, have more harmony in those connections, wherever those challenges may have been. We have a time of evolution and growth of self approaches. You will feel a higher frequency of energy surrounding you in comparison to the recent past. Yeah, so that's that Queen of Wands, that inner energy I was picking up earlier that you may, some of you may definitely start to feel that you do have a lot more like physical energy or like emotional energy in a way. You know, maybe you're happier or you just feel more enthusiastic maybe or like expressive. Okay, so we have be mindful of your surroundings and the company that you keep as you will be feeling sensitive to the energies of others at this time, which could in turn affect your vibrations. So they're connecting that to the Ace of Cups and to the cat over there with the panther reference of the protection around you. I feel like what you need to focus the most on is how to keep your emotional world uh, clean and purified, however you want to do that. We have tensions and hostilities may arise at this time. You can prevent this by withdrawing your energy and spending some time in solitude. Yeah, so that's going to resonate differently, but some of you may have some kind of hostility or just maybe like, I don't know, some kind of situation with that Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, whether it's self-created and it's just coming from yourself. For some of you, maybe you're, it's almost like you're creating your own tension or hostility, but others of you, this could be that you have a situation going on with somebody. Um, this could be spiritually as well, but with the reference they showed me of somebody sitting outside and speaking their problems out to nature that could be a way for you to help alleviate some of that tension um, because I feel a lot of you are really moving through a time of transformation your beliefs may be challenged shortly as you find yourself in a period of transformation what you believed was the correct path for you may not now not be so clear and with the independence and the Queen of Wands, I don't know exactly it's going to be different, but it's something with that starting over. Something to where your beliefs about, I don't know, your life, your family, yourself, maybe beginning to change, you know, or it's just, maybe even some of you are just ready to be, again, more of yourself or more confident in a way. And it's time to integrate all that you have gathered and You know, maybe that is something that will kind of cause a ripple effect outward or it will cause you to make changes which are necessary but could be difficult or could, you know, require some rearranging.
Okay. We have a heartbreak will come to pass. Someone will approach you with an apology. They can't be trusted. A friendly connection will bloom into a romance. You may feel an excited nervousness at this time as it will bring forth an unexpected deepening of emotions. So I will do an extended. I'm just going to kind of do a free flow extended based on some of these energies. I think I'll keep these written ones out to see what more can come. Um, I want to point this out to a time of fun, adventure and exploration with others approaches. You will feel a sense of rejuvenation as you embrace these social invitations. Um, Because I almost feel like there's a jumble of things here coming up. Some of you, this upheaval or this heartbreak could be associated or could be that could be part of what the transformation is about, uh, the tension. But I feel like with that Ace of Cups and this friendly connection will blossom into a romance. That's part of that Six of Pentacles. Maybe some of you, again, are kind of being encouraged to explore that and to allow yourself to deepen the bond that you have with somebody or just those people that you can trust. So let me grab some charms and then we will go over to the extended. I'm actually going to do about like 10 minutes of the scrying ball, the bonus scrying reading. So we're just going to see what more I can pick up on specifically. And then we will do the rest of the reading um, just kind of in, in more whatever needs to come up more so about this reading. Maybe some love messages as well to see what some of this could be. But yeah, when I went to go get, the, go get the charms here, I was getting for some of you with the Queen of Wands and this heartbreak will come to pass with the tower. Um, that actually could be where that shadow aspect comes from because some of you are maybe being guided again to finally let that go or to like let the heartbreak, you know, like let it kind of hurt maybe or to let it out or to finalize it in, in a way because I feel like there's a rearrangement of loyalty and connections and helping you to purify those so that you can connect with more authentic souls and be more authentic within how you connect with them as well. So there may be something like that with the Queen of Wands to where it could be painful or could have been, but it almost like taught you or pushed you into that Queen of Wands energy that you're now ready to show the world more of like your your power kind of on, on that uh, that kind of more shadow aspect or like how you've been able to grow to who you are. So let's see some charms. Okay, so this is sticking out to me, uh, to me, the dolphin. There will be a deep transformation. So this, whoever this is that you're going to have this deep connection with, um, is likely somebody who's part of your soul family with that dolphin. It also is that happy, joyous, light feeling I was getting. It could be a friendship as well. It's just something which feels like it's it's a part of, like it's it feels like somebody that you know. Um, and I feel like that's something that will be growing or transforming, Okay. We also have the little frog on a lotus or on a little pad here. So I don't know what that means exactly, but it's on top of this here. So maybe like having a like a Zen energy or just spending that time in meditation in solitude. We have a butterfly on top of that beliefs card and we also have a crown so yeah i feel like this is saying that a lot of you here this is about doing what's best for you with the crown and it feels like you're being you're in a position again of that protection where 
something with that Queen of Wands and the crown. Like, yes, your beliefs may be challenged, but they're challenged in a way that is actually transforming you into this more powerful version of yourself who can who can reach a higher status sort of or a higher self position if that makes sense we also have this little grim reaper here so there could have been something in family which has ended for some of you we have another butterfly so this may have been a past situation with family. It could have been something which is the ending for some of you. Maybe you did have to cut a family mem member off or a spouse or an ex-partner. Um, it feels like this is also the darkness of you, of what you've experienced maybe due to family members or due to your childhood or upbringing and how you've transformed from that to the butterfly. You've lightened that up. We have another butterfly over here on top of family again. So there could be definitely something with butterflies and family, transformation in family. We have a rose. We have a spider. Okay. And we have Aquarius. So somebody here could be an Aquarius. There could be clarity surrounding an Aquarius. The spider, why is the spider here? Something about your future, something about clarity about your future. Some involvement with, a, with an Aquarius for somebody, that won't be for everybody. We have the two people who are getting married here in a union on top of this divinely guided and the clarity and this card here too so yeah there's definitely a connection blooming or a connection which is coming together or again multiple people as well friendships things like that we have a ship so that could be very specific for somebody with this here too there may be somebody who's going to approach you with an apology if they're especially if they're coming from over or I guess it could be overseas, but if they're coming from a distance or you live at a distance, um, of course, that's not for everybody. But if there is something about you maybe, maybe moving away as well from somebody like that who you couldn't trust or you can't trust, if you have an apology, there could be something with how this swivels, like it's unpredictable or you can't fully trust them. It's unknown, sort of. We have the scales of balance on top of the home. So yeah, there's something definitely for somebody about your home life, okay, whatever that is for you. We have a fan. So this gives me a feeling of be mindful of your surroundings, keep things light, fan things out, try not to let things get too tense or, you know, keep things kind of not getting out of hand. We have this whale tail. Yeah, so a lot of you watching also could be star seeds because we have that dolphin here and this whale tail on top of the self evolution. And then we, then we have a guitar on top of the friendship. So there could be something about guitar and friendships. We have the sun and Gemini. Yeah, I was hearing June. So there's something about June. Definitely for somebody specific, you could be traveling in June. And the sun is here. So it's going to be a very beautiful experience when you do travel. And when you do maybe move away or just take a trip in June. So I will leave it here. Uh, and I will go over to the extended. And as I said before, we're going to do a bonus scrying reading to get some more specifics. And then I'm going to also pull some cards from different decks to see what comes up and what more we can pull from this energy. But I hope that this was helpful for whoever it was for. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.